Welcome back to my home buyer series. I'm Jason Hubbard with Loyalty Home Group. Today we're going to talk about mastering the art of real estate offer negotiation and tips for success. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can see future videos. Negotiating the offer is a crucial step in the home buying process. Your ability to make a competitive offer and effectively negotiate with sellers can greatly influence the outcome of your real estate transaction. In this video, we'll provide you with valuable strategies and tips to help you make an attractive offer and navigate negotiations successfully. First, understand the market. This is super important as leverage changes based on the market. Before you even start making offers, it's essential to have a solid understanding of the current real estate market in your desired area. You wanna research the recent sales, the trends in the area, and the level of competition. Are you in a buyer's market where more houses are available, or are you in a seller's market where there's less homes available? Many markets have typical cycles that go throughout, the, throughout a normal year. This information will inform your approach. Next, you want to get pre-approved. Obtain a mortgage pre-approval from a reputable lender. This not only demonstrates your seriousness as a buyer, but also helps you determine your budget and have a competitive edge in negotiations. Also, in the state of Arizona, a pre-qual or proof of funds is, is actually required um, when you submit an offer. Next, you want to make sure you're working with a skilled real estate agent. A knowledgeable real estate agent can be your greatest asset during negotiations. They have experience in handling various situations and can provide valuable insights and advice. So choose an agent with a strong track record and a good reputation. I'll come back to what I've said in previous videos. Experience matters. Next, make a strong initial offer. Your first offer should be competitive but also realistic. Lowballing can discourage sellers and make them angry. So base your offer on market conditions and recent comparable sales. If you make a low offer in a seller's market, you aren't likely to get the home. This is where knowing your market will become a huge factor. Your agent can help you determine a fair starting point based on the current market in that area. Next, include contingencies wisely. Contingencies protect your interests, but can also deter sellers. Be strategic when including contingencies in your offer. Common contingencies include home inspection, financing, and appraisal. Consult with your agent to determine the right balance. This can also be market-based. It's much tougher to have contingencies as a buyer in a seller's market. Be flexible on closing dates. Flexibility with your closing date can make your offer more appealing to sellers. If possible, inquire about the seller's preferred closing dates and adjust your offer accordingly. Communication is key here. It's important that you have a good agent that's willing to have a conversation with the listing agent to see what terms are most important to the seller. Sometimes price isn't the most important. Some agents will say, write a persuasive letter that will advise you to craft, and they'll advise you to craft a personal letter to the seller expressing your interest in their home, to share details about your family, why you love the property, and your plans for the house. Emotional connections could sometimes sway sellers. Me personally, I think this is a horrible idea, and it can cause all different kinds of issues, especially fair housing issues. This idea is one that I highly advise against. Next, you're gonna to want to make sure you negotiate responsibly. Expect a counter offer from the seller. When negotiating, remain responsive and considerate. Quick responses demonstrate your commitment and interest in the property. I always try to set the expectations that a counter offer is likely to come. Prioritize, prioritize what matters the most. During negotiations, prioritize the key elements that matter most to you. This could be the purchase price, it could be the repairs, or the concessions, or the closing date. 
understand which aspects are non-negotiable and where you can be flexible. Don't let emotions get the best of you. Real estate negotiations can be emotionally charged. It's essential to stay calm, rational, and focused on your goals. Avoid making impulse decisions driven by frustration or fear of losing out. Always take time to think things out. Every offer will have a response time. Take the time to think about things and respond accordingly after speaking with your agent. Consult your real estate attorney. Once you reach an agreement, feel free to consult with your real estate attorney to review the contract, ensure that all the terms are in your best interest. Some states require this, Arizona doesn't. Nonetheless, this is never a bad idea as they can provide you legal guidance and protect your rights throughout the process. Prepare for plan B. Sometimes negotiations don't lead to an agreement. Be prepared to walk away if the terms don't align with your needs or budget. Having a backup plan and a list of alternative properties is a smart strategy. Other properties will come available and you will find something. In the end, negotiating the offer in real estate requires a blend of strategy, market knowledge, and effective communication. By understanding the market, working with experienced professionals, making competitive offers, being flexible, and staying composed, you can increase your chances of securing the home you desire. Remember that successful negotiation is a collaborative effort between buyer and seller, and finding common ground is the key to a successful real estate transaction. Again, I'm Jason Hubbard with Loyalty Home Group. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you on the next one.